I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. And today I'm talking about five things that you want to watch out for when you're buying a property with a homeowners association. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thanks so much for watching my video blog today. Today I'm here to talk about some things that you want to be aware of when you're buying a property with an HOA, whether that's a condominium, or a townhouse, or even a planned unit development like a gated community with uh, homeowners association fees. So number one, you wanna look at what the budget is and reserve study. So now this is especially important for a condominium or a building where you share walls because the homeowners association is responsible for taking care of all of the exterior of the property. So you wanna see how healthy is the budget. Now a reserve study, not every homeowners association has done one, although they should, but if they have one, it will tell you what the next 30 years would look like for the building. Do elevators have to be replaced? Do the roof, does the roof need to be replaced? Does the building need to be repainted? Uh, it's gonna plan for termites, all of those different things. And if the budget is falling short of being able to cover all of those expenses, it's definitely a red flag for you. Second, you definitely want to read the rules and regulations. And please ask questions if you need clarification. There are a number of things that you want to watch out for, like pet rules, rental restrictions. Um, if it's a gated community, maybe parking restrictions, that whether or not you can park on the street. And barbecues, community amenities, all of those things are going to be in the rules and regulations. So make sure you read it, because if it does, has something in there that you don't want to be a part of, like let's say you want to paint your front door red and they won't let you, you should be aware of that. Third, you want to read all of the minutes for the Homeowners Association. You should get a year's worth of minutes. Now, some buildings or some communities will only have periodic meetings. Some may only have one meeting per year. If you can get the minutes for at least the last year, it should give you an idea of what concerns, what complaints are coming up in the building. And that way you can kind of take the temperature of what's happening and if they're talking about making any dues increases or things like that. And that brings me to number four. Check to see if there's going to be any dues increases or special assessments in the near future. You want to be aware if the cost of your property is going to go up because they're going to be doing some repairs or major improvements to the community. The last one, number five, which is very important to check, is litigation. If the building or the community is under some sort of litigation, it can affect the financeability of your home if you need to pull money from the home or if you need to refinance. And it can also obviously affect your pocketbook because if the homeowners association gets sued, uh, it can affect you personally. So those are five very important things to check out. Obviously, when you work with an agent like myself, I'm going to help you look at those things and check those out as well. And if you know anyone who needs some help and is thinking about buying a property with an HOA, please have, us, have them give us a call. We're here to help. Remember... My number is 562-316-2915, and you can email me at melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching, and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.